Hey y'all, still out here sweating and thinking, thinking and sweating on my walk. Um, trying to unbig my back. <laughs> if you know, you know, before a big event I got coming up. But anyways, for health reasons, period. Um, but I thought I would have a little chat about going to go see the Little Mermaid with Holly Bailey. And yes, I went with my girls and my big guy and we had it we had a time last night but anyways we had a good time at the movies and i'm gonna just let y'all in on a little secret the best conversations that i have with my children is after we've experienced something together and getting their straightforward honest feedback and they had so much to say about the movie but we keep those chats between us but baby if you want pure comedy and foolery those are the best chats i put a little bit of it on one of my shorts uh one of the questions that uh, my son had about king triton so anyways i had an amazing time we wore um my shirts um i have a brand that i've been working on for years um it incorporate some of the lore from my home country uh we know that that is haiti um it has like the magic and majestic of the lore and it is mermaid related and i've been working on this brand for a while so i'll let you guys know if you want to support me when you can jump on and and copy some stuff but either way we wore our shirts it was a good time had by all we bought them expensive ass snacks but we went to a inexpensive movie uh theater to balance it out so what did I think about the movie? If I if I do it with the smarties, because you know I'm the CPA scholar, uh, I'll say that I gave it four out of five scholies. I was surprised because I was scared for my life. I was about to get a drink um, because it was going to be two hours and 15 minutes, but it didn't feel like two hours and 15 minutes. Um, I'm a fan of the original The Little Mermaid. I definitely am. But my favorite Disney princess ever is Belle. It could be because I'm of Haitian descent. We have a French background. Well, French, Spanish, African, all that mixed together. But something about Belle. And it could, could be because I was a scholar or a nerd. I related to that story. That is my movie. I forced dates to watch it. Um, that is my movie, y'all. But anyways, me and my daughters end up singing the song uh, for Belle. There must be more than this provincial life on the way home. So that's how much we love Belle. But Holly brought the Little Mermaid to us. And one thing I really appreciated is when we were sitting in the movie and it first started um, and Holly was speaking, my baby girl turned to me and said, she said, mommy, I really didn't like the little mermaid because I felt like she gave up her feet for a man. <laughs> but now as I'm watching this movie, I realize she gave up her fins to try something new and be a part of another world. I respect it more. I said, oh my God, my baby girl. My baby girl. <laughs> she said, but I really like this movie. I'm not really a big fan of the, the first one, but I like this movie. I said, okay. I said, I, I see what Disney, I give you props on that. Because my baby girl, who was very lovely and chocolate and melanated like me, saw herself in the mermaid i guess was more open to the story not that it mattered the other mermaid beautiful redhead woman not that that mattered but just seeing her react to it was enough for me so like i said i gave it four out of five um smarties but let's i'm gonna hit a little bit of everything in the movie and yes i'm gonna have criticisms why because just because um holly bailey is my boo and baby they sing her and her sister sing for the gods they literally sound like heavenly goddesses whenever they hit those notes those women are talented i'm not gonna call them children they're trying to break out of that they are talented they are beautiful they are forces to be reckoned with even with chloe going through her stuff they they are worth every penny that they when they get out there and do their thing and not many people in the game can compete with their voices so all you guys who have something to say about her being ariel can kick all the rocks all the rocks but um, she was the best for the part. So either way, um, she, it's, when it started off, I'm like, okay, how are they going to make the water? You know, and the, like the graphics were everything. They genuinely looked like everything was floating. Um, the world was beautiful. I was scared it was going to be dark because the previews made it look like somebody needed to turn the damn light on. But then when I thought about it, 
I've gone snorkeling, swimming, been in the ocean. When you are swimming down, it is dark. It depends on how close you are to the surface that it would be light. So why the hell would it be light down there? And then everybody's complaining about the red hair. And her hair was red. It was a natural red that it would look like under the water. Why? Because this is live action. And we know live action Disney stuff be a dub. Um, the other thing I noticed too was they did make sure that they, the animals who were speaking, that their expressions of the faces matched, which is what failed on the Lion King. The Lion King had no heart, no soul, uh, because the, the animals, it was like freaking a cat was just sitting there looking, and you, it was supposed to be an emotion. With the cartoons, you can do the animated um, stuff. You can see the emotions, but with... Um, the live action, you have to make an animal still look realistic um, and still show emotions, which is hard to do. And they did that with this. Um, we're going to say that, okay, the singing was amazing. The singing was amazing. The music was amazing. Uh, one of my favorite scenes was, of course, because it's one of my favorite scenes, and the um, animated one was kiss the girl that's my favorite like the whole la 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 don't i mean everybody loves under the sea and i loved under the sea they did a good job with it like when she was falling back into the um jellyfish and i mean it, the whole thing was just beautiful and then the changes that they made in the story made everything make more sense i feel like in the animated one they kind of rushed the story um so it almost didn't make any sense not to say there wasn't some shenanigans in this live action one too um like my son said it was funny because it was like an all diverse cast and if you look at the disney version there's is diverse but at the end when all the mer people come out um but when they had the seven daughters of the sea and they had them all like look like their region baby it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And then I saw my girl from Bridgerton on there. I think she played the sister Indira. Yes, she was looking. Her beautiful Middle Eastern self was looking extra fine. Her name was Indira. Uh, of course, the African mermaid. Probably supposed to be Mami Wata, but we're going to get on that later. But, um, she looked stunning. All of, And then we had the Asian mermaid, it, Daughters of the Seven Seas. And Ariel was being Ariel, not showing up to the meeting. They always meet for the coral moon. So you can kind of tell that Ariel um, puts it aside. And baby, the, the man they have played Triton. I like me an older man. He's so fine to me. Even with all the the uh, crazy beard shenanigans and foolery. You can see the finest. You can see the finest through <laughs> all the costumes and everything that they had on. Um, let me see. Who else do I want to talk about? Oh, y'all going to laugh. But the guy that's playing Grimsby, um, you know, they showed a prince. He looked like a Jonas brother. I said, oh, y'all got a Jonas brother playing the prince? I know that's not a Jonas brother, y'all, but that's what he looked like to me. Um, they had him sing his whole song. He sounded pretty good. Um, they kind of gave a little background that uh, they have, the king and queen found him. So it explained why he looked like a Jonas brother. And then they get there and the queen looked like Madge Sinclair. If you don't know, look her up. That's a queen. Black excellence right there. Uh, she looked like her, all regal and beautiful. Um, so they had, I loved what they did with the, the scene with the boat, um, how they had the pirate, well, I don't say pirates, the crewmen trying to kill the doll, uh, mermaid, the mermaid, but it turned out to be a dolphin. I mean, the way they did everything and the way that Ariel was sneaking and looking at Eric and hearing, she actually fell in love with his, um, ideologies and how he wanted the island to grow and to help people. I mean, his ships were going out there to find different medicines and create export and they had found something for malaria but apparently to a cure for malaria but they kept having shipwrecks and what me and my kids noticed was the mer people didn't know they thought the shipwrecks were on purpose and ruining their coral and if you guys know i went to hawaii i know how important not touching the coral is um and then but then the queen was blaming the mer people saying that they were causing the shipwrecks so that they couldn't get out so it was like they both like i said they both from different worlds different reasons that they couldn't be together but when eric flew off that boat 
and they had all those waves. I said, oh, my God. If you've ever seen that movie, The Perfect Storm, that's what had me scared of the ocean for a long time. Each wave was bigger than the other. Each wave looked like it was supposed to kill you. I was like, it, it had my anxiety on an all-time high. Um, but I love the fact that um, when they had Ariel do this stuff with the shark, that, that gra the graphics were good. Um, when she saved um, Flounder, it threw me off because Flounder was a real fish so used to the animated and him and him being all puffy and and uh cute it kind of threw me off but i got it um i actually liked aquafina as scuttle she was pretty funny um very obnoxious but it actually worked and then um i forgot what the man who plays sebastian's name is but he is from hamilton and uh lynn lynn uh, manuel or lynn miranda yeah he is one of the executive producers so that makes sense and i mean when the when sebastian and Aquafina did their little rap scene. I said, okay, Hamilton, I see you. I see how y'all tried to incorporate that. That was cute. Um, <laughs> but like I said, um, them showing the story of how uh, King Triton didn't want them to go to the top, um, to the surface to, with the humans because they killed the mom. And they were, I would have liked a little bit digging deeper than that. But hey, it's a kid's cartoon. I mean, well, it is what it is. Um, but my son had me dying laughing, and that's what I put in that short, because he was like, hold up. If King Triton's supposed to be, are all the kids of King Triton supposed to be from the same wife? Because he Mexican, and <laughs> we got Asian mermaids, African mermaids. Was he having babies everywhere, or are they all supposed to be from the same mom? I said, you know, if you'll go sit down, boy, I know something else. But um, <laughs> that was one of the many questions. And then I, my son was also asking, like, why was the queen so um, against them growing? She said, like, because it looks like they changed the background from um, it being, I guess, the little, the little Mermaid itself. It's from Hans Christian Andersen, and it's Norwegian, I believe, or Scandinavian. And they changed it to the Caribbean. But it makes sense because the original movie, it makes more sense now that it's in a Caribbean nation than it did um, with the Scandinavian nation because you got a freaking, um, what is it, a crab or lobster, whatever it was with a uh, dang on um, Jamaican accent. And then Kiss the Girl had a Caribbean beat. Uh, Under the Sea had a Caribbean beat. And all this stuff was very Caribbean, but y'all supposed to be Norwegian. Make it make sense. This actually made more sense. Um, I also appreciated the fact that they had her, her build up and her falling in love with the prince. They had them um, spend more time and have more conversation. So it wasn't exactly like a regular Disney movie like where you see the print. They see each other and it's like, ah. she heard his ideals. She's, she she was with them. They were similar to hers because she felt like the mer people and the humans should merge together. So, I mean, it made more sense that they would have fallen in love and they actually had to spend time together. But like I said, my kids had me laughing because they were like, what kind of kingdom is this? That's probably why the economy is messed up. They find a random woman <laughs> out on a shipwreck, bring her in, and they don't take her anywhere else. They take her straight to the castle um, to be blending with the royalty. So something was suspect with that. And then they had me laughing because you know when Ursula turned into, if you haven't seen it before, I hope you all have seen this already. Um, Ursula turned into, because um, remember the prince was trying to find the person who saved him. Saved him and um, they had take, taken Ariel's voice um ursula did i'm gonna talk about ursula in a second um taking ariel's voice and he was falling in love with ariel and then you know the mystery woman showed up and i was wondering who they were gonna get to play and when i looked i said who is this um fake megan fox they got playing um, <laughs> the other chick but she was beautiful until uh like i said scuttle and started attacking and my son was like what's up with the security in there because they didn't know that she was Ursula, and they just let anybody run up and start fight. Ariel started fighting the lady, and then Scuttle was fighting the lady, and the security didn't make one move to try to save this girl. And then when she turned into, uh, when she t turned back evil, and she went to go swinging, and um, the queen was like, "See, this was some, this was some hoodoo that the dang mermaids and sent up here to take us down." <laughs> I was like, this is way more realistic than, you know, the way that it went down was, was really good. But um, it was just funny, my kids' reactions um, to everything. But it, the part that killed me was when Ursula, and I do remember it from the animation, was when um, Ursula 
turned back into Ursula and then jumped into the water with Ariel. If I were to see some shit like that, I wouldn't want to chase it down. See, Prince Eric had to love her. If he wanted to go chase her down, after he seen some flip-flop, <laughs> if you know where that reference is from, Vampire Brooklyn, you see a person flip-flop and then jump into the water. Oh, no. I, you bye. It was good knowing you. You gone. Oh, well. Sorry, sis. Um, <laughs> I'm going to fall in love with a human over here real quick, but that's not the point of the story. Either way, let's talk about Ursula, and then we'll finish it up. So, baby, Melissa McCarthy played the hell out of Ursula. Played the hell out of Ursula. When they had, the way they did the cinematography, the way the um, tentacles were moving, the way she kept gliding, it, it, was, it was slimy but beautiful at the same time. And then she, you could see the, baby, Melissa, you did that, Melissa. You did it. Um, so she played the hell out of that and she definitely seemed evil and I, and there were some funny parts in there, uh, where when she was looking for the potion to, uh, change into fake Megan Fox, um, and she was getting all pissed off and she said, oh, here it is. I mean, there was little nuances where it was funny and then there was the eels and I really appreciate it when she did poor unfortunate souls. <sighs> Um, if you don't know the movie, I think everybody knows this movie. When Triton found out that Ariel went to the top and then was loving a human and went to the place and wrecked the place like a irrational father did and uh, broke the statue and, she, and Ariel was laying there with the hand. Let me tell you, Chloe Bailey was a moating baby. She was giving face. She was giving emotion. And that's a lot of stuff that's missing in these movies nowadays. It seems really, really emotionless you don't feel anything i think there was even a part of the movie i'm trying to think of what it was it might have been the end um when everybody showed up for them and they were in love and all that good stuff and um he they said that they loved her like tears almost cast them. okay okay but anyways back to evil ass ursula <laughs> i told you this review is gonna be all over the place because it's off the top of my head i'm sorry but uh feel free to comment what you thought about the movie um when Ursula took her down to the bottom and she's and and Triton said, What do you want? And uh what what will you do for your daughter? And he gave up his Triton, his his whatever they call the big fork thing. Um it was awesome because it showed a father's love. But I'm like, he didn't really fight all that hard, did he? Did then when she zapped him when when what my, what my baby called it when when he thanos that ass <laughs> when she thanos him but he disintegrated the dust i said um uh, and then she took it and then she released Ariel, and she started and eric had tried to hit her with that spear and then she started hulking up hulking up getting big why my son say why she look like a with that cgi that's when the cgi went suspect um why she look like a big angry baby <laughs> why she look like a big angry baby and then the other part that killed me my son was like um why in the world did uh she wait there so long okay so we know how ursula is. anybody who's old enough to know um knows how ursula got taken out but he said how she had all that power and had that triton and she stood there all along stuck while that boat smashed into her core and he was like what was she waiting on and then all of a sudden when eric when she was dead and she floated down to the bottom um her father just poof, up here he's like how the hell you think oh and she got thanos too she got disintegrated she's like how you um ursula that is how he just puffed back and appear again like ain't shit happening? Oh, part of my friends just ain't for kids anyway. Um, <laughs> he come back. My kids was poking all the holes in this story. That's why I said I love watching movies with them. They kill me at the end. If you would have heard our Megan review that we had by ourselves, it was like we was roasting Megan. But, but like I said, they got to the end and they got married. Well, they got, ended up being together, and all the mer people came out. And it was it was all shapes and sizes and colors. It was beautiful. And then the people, the humans, came out, and then um, 
Ariel got sent away with love because they were going to go off into the world. Because remember, he said he had a calling to the sea, which they never filled out this plot. He said he feel like he's supposed to be out there. Maybe it was his parents. Maybe his parents were mer people. Who the hell knows? Maybe they'll come out with a sequel. Please don't because those mermaid sequels was terrible. Um, the man animated ones. Uh, when D Disney does an animated sequel, it is real, real suspect. Um, but... Um, I really enjoyed the movie. We had a good time. Like I said, uh, I've been really enjoying, like, fighting to stay on my diet and get exercise, which is why I was out here. I just stopped to take a break to talk to you guys. Um, but I definitely enjoyed it. And Holly Bailey did a really amazing thing. And it does matter. Like, maybe one day I'll talk to you guys how I felt about The Princess and the Frog. I didn't like it because I was... Um, I love Anika Noni Rose, um, but I didn't like how what certain things they did with the princesses. But I really, really enjoyed this movie. My kids enjoyed this movie. And we can enjoy this movie and still have criticism because we're human and we just have a good time, baby. We just have a good time. Let me know what you thought about the movie. I gave it four out of five CP only because um, I thought that they did an amazing job with the story. And Holly Bailey, uh, Bailey sang her ass off and um if you haven't seen the videos online they showed how proud her family was um and how they descended from tobacco and cotton uh farmers to be be a disney pr princess it's not important to you guys but it's important to us and when i come out uh, with my product i'll do more about the lore of the mermaid so you guys saying that a mermaid can't be black is straight foolishness and shenanigans and effery because i'm trying not to cuss on here with that being said love who loves you may god bless you with everything that you need and the sepia scholar is out yeah i look rough but i'm getting slim thick <laughs> for all the traveling i'm doing the rest of the year so get ready for some vlogs Hit me with a like. Subscribe if you like my uh, content. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love y'all and bye.